As soon as it was definitely ascertained that the remains of President Lincoln would pass through Cleveland on their way to Springfield, measures were taken to extend to them the honor due from a grateful people to their beloved chief magistrate. Punctually, at seven o'clock, the funeral train arrived at the Union Depot on the Lakeshore track. As the procession neared the square, the streets were almost totally blocked up with the immense crowds. A drizzling rain had set in and continued with more or less violence during the day, yet the crowd increased, and by counted estimate, upwards of 100,000 people had passed through the pavilion from 9.40 in the morning to 10.10 at night. There was, however, no boisterous mirth or unnecessary noise, and although the rush for the entrance through the fenced guard on Superior Street was very great, we heard of no mishaps except the fainting of a couple of delicately constituted ladies. All seemed impressed with the deep solemnity of the occasion. The sad day of mourning in Cleveland is past. Let the faults of him for whom the nation mourns be written in sand, but his virtues will be remembered forever.